Albert breaks it down this way, quote, the smaller liquidity families are not at the stage yet where they have their identity formed. Still adolescent, they're still kind of growing up. Quote, quote, an incredible amount of wealth has been created in history in a relatively short period of time, but that's not to say that they can't have an impact. If they are legitimately focused on something, they can get things done very quickly and attain that stamp of legitimacy, effectiveness, efficacy very quickly. There's been a sea change in just the way things are done, the way that businesses are built and created, and perhaps that's brought in unfamiliarity. What is it that these older families are investing in? How will that investment harm their legacy if it's going to mess up the future? Your legacy is at risk today. Quote, because they have the opportunity to help remake the world in their own vision, and they don't have the same constraints as the old, older generations had. Quote, Albert continues. He's right. It's a scary transition today. Half of the relevant industries and companies that we see today didn't even exist even just 10 years ago. It's been transformative. Amazon started in 1994 and has one of the largest market caps in existence. The millennials or the next gens get a bad rap because they're the generation that has forced us to accept social media for all its awkwardness. Looking at the numbers, however, this generation alone has built more sustainable personal brands that create millions of dollars a year in revenue for themselves than at any time in human history. And they have financialization as their friend, holding their hands all the way to the bank. But what is the real currency here? I'm glad you asked. 